Today I'm going to be charging fire orbs in Tavali Dungeon for one hour. Now this is a members only spell which requires 63 magic and according to the OSRS wiki you can actually make around 295k GP per hour as well as 32.8k magic XP per hour. It's not the best money maker in the game as well as XP but if you are short on GP and you want to make some easy and fast profit then give this a go. Also you can charge around 450 fire orbs an hour according to the wiki. So before I start I'm going to go through all the requirements you'll need to make this money maker worth doing and it will just make life a lot easier. So starting off you're going to need 63 magic as I mentioned at the start for the charge fire orb spell which does require 30 fire runes, 3 cosmic runes and 1 unpowered orb. You could buy this orb in a grand exchange. Now instead of taking fire runes you could take lava, steam or smoke runes, tome of fire or any fire staff. The next requirement is having at least 70 agility, 80 would be better as it would take you closer to where you charge the orbs and if you're under 70 agility then you will need a dusty key but I'll explain why in a minute. Also having a decent defence level will help you a lot because you will come across a lot of high level monsters so I would recommend having at least 70 plus defence or having 42 prayers so you can protect from melee as that will be helpful as well. Having 37 magic so you can teleport to Falador as that is the closest teleport to Tavli dungeon. Also there is no quest requirements as well so that's a relief. Now for the items you will need the following, it's very simple so you will need a rune pouch to take cosmic and lore runes. If you don't have a rune pouch then not to worry just keep the runes in your inventory like normal and for the rest of your inventory just fill them up with unpowered orbs. For the gear setup I'm wearing full graceful, now if you don't have full graceful I will take the spotted or spottier cape, boots of lightness as you'll be running around a lot, um, obviously having a fairly high agility level will help as well. The other two items is a tome of fire so I can get unlimited fire runes so I can charge the spell and a mist battle staff which gives me unlimited air and water runes so I can teleport to Falador once I've finished charging my orbs. You can take Falador tabs as well but they are more expensive and doing it the way I'm doing it will give you an extra inventory slot. Now I would use my Mets cape as it's a free teleport and I can bank at the crafting guild then use the teleport to the POH in Tavoli and run south which might save me a few seconds but I'm going to go along with the OSRS wiki guidelines so it's not too bad. So if you're starting off at Falador you want to run to the west wall and just south there is an agility shortcut which requires 5 agility so hopefully you guys have that. And as you can see on the minimap there is a dungeon sign and all you've got to do is just go northwest. Once you are there you want to go down the ladder and northwest of the map as you can see there is a fire obelisk and that is where you will charge your orbs. Now there is a ton of monsters in here as you can see on the minimap. And on the right, as soon as you go down, there is an agility shortcut which requires 70 agility. And if you have this, you can simply go through the tunnel. Obviously, be careful the blue dragons. Then you want to follow the path round. And as you get closer to the obelisk, there'll be black demons which will hit hard. So having 42 prayer, as I mentioned earlier, protection from melee will help. Next, you'll come across some poison spiders. Now, they don't poison as soon as they hit you, but I would suggest sipping an antidote before you do this trip as it lasts around 12 minutes and then you're going to come towards the black dragons now these can hit very high if you're not wearing a dfs or an anti-dragon shield but the same with the antidote if you want to take a sip of that before you're taking your trips then you won't take much damage but most of the time you can quickly go past the dragons without them hitting you now if you have 80 agility then you have a massive advantage all you've got to do is just go north of the entrance and there's another shortcut Take this and you'll get straight to the spiders and then all you've got to do is pass the two dragons and you're there in no time at all. Now at some point you will run out of energy so for me I will simply use my cape to my house and get my run back. Or you can use the Clown Wars minigame teleport to regenerate your run there. I will quickly show you as it's all changed so once you teleport to Clown Wars just run to the far west entrance, go in then come back out. Now, if you don't have 70 agility, you will need a dusty key as I mentioned earlier. For those who don't have this level, you're going to need to run all the way round. Now, this is why you need to train agility. So, what you've got to do is kill Ajalia for the key, which is south of the dungeon. And I'll show you now as I'm making my way round. So, once you're here, you want to simply kill the Jailer with any weapon you want. And he will drop a key to unlock the cell. Talk to the guy that's in there and ask him 
um, are there any good places to explore and it will give you the dusty key which I will keep until you reach 70 agility of course which then once you hit that level you can just drop the key as you can use the shortcuts now this route you'll come across lesser demons so pray melee or tank them it's entirely up to you and click on a door which is what the dusty key is for then you'll have the blue dragons they're not accurate so you can just run past them without taking any damage and then it's the same route after that so what I'm going to do is show you a couple of runs just so you know how it's done and I'm going to play some music over it and speed it up fast so obviously the video isn't two hours long. Okay, so this is the last inventory and the hour will be up. So really intrigued to seeing how much profit I made. So let's get straight into the price check. So here is all the orbs that I made. I've got 571. So let's see how much that is. 630k. Damn, that is a lot more than I expected. So per inventory, I was making around 27.2k profit as the unpowered orbs are 97 GP each and the fire orbs are 1.1k each and like I said having the agility level speeds things up a lot so minus the supplies of the runes and the unpowered orbs which was 225k my total profit is still 405k and the XP I gained within the hour is 42.7k magic XP which is really good to be fair so let's go back to the wiki I must say it's not very accurate because on the wiki it does say you're going to make 295k GP profit as well as 32.8k magic XP gained obviously I've done a lot more than that and I was concentrating fully as well without missing any clicks if you like so maybe if I was AFK and a little bit more I might have made a similar amount but obviously the same goes with the XP as well so really pleased with the result and as I mentioned earlier if you're looking for a decent money maker if you're low on GP then definitely give this a go especially now I've made 400k profit so there we go guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video, I know it's something different. If you did like it, smash the like button, comment and subscribe to the channel if you're new. I'll be making more of these videos very soon, so until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video.